I made up this centre section hot wire cut XPS foam and I have two stainless steel channels going through there that the normal spars can slot into and then it's just taped together uh, extended the servo wires into the pod let's see how we go CG seems about right might be back a fair bit but it can go back a fair bit with gliders like this so the overall wingspan is now 2.7 meters and I have a 2200 3S And I've got a Vario and a current sensor, or a voltage sensor, I should say. The hatch cover just tucks in under there, hope that's okay. Good flaps. Okay, we are ready to go. Glide test first. Bad wind direction, unfortunately. <laughs> well, that's a glider. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That's cool. All right, here we go. Six meters. One point two meters. Five point one meters. Eleven point seven meters. It's flying pretty well. It's flying excellent actually. A bit touchy, uh, but it's very turbulent. Give it a height and glide it down. Oh, plenty of power. Power off. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is such <laughs> such a glider. <laughs> It's gliding all the way there. <laughs> Let's go up a bit higher and trim it out. We've got about 10 to 15 gusty wind and really no chance of thermals today, I wouldn't think. This is going to be cool. Got the throws too high and no expo. I really could use some. Woohoo! How cool is that?
Well, that's pretty stunning. I'd call that a big success. Can't wait for a nice, calm, warm thermal day. And we'll see how well it thermals. Of course, it'll be uh, outrageously good on the slope. So, can't wait to try that out as well.